And young people, I believe after tonight, you won't be the same. We're going to expect that. Amen. Why don't we thank the Lord for Brother Freddie Hidalgo as he comes to minister to the youth. How many can say praise the Lord? Before you're seated, before we go into the word, I just have to share this with you. I'm not one of those people that are always up on top of clouds, always on 25-day fasts, and always hearing from God. But the times that I do hear from God, you know, you know it's God. This Monday, I was asleep, and I had this dream. And the Lord, He speaks to us according to how we think and who we are. You know, sometimes the Lord speaks to me through crazy dreams because I'm a crazy guy. <laughs> well, in this dream... You know, I, I just appeared, and I was amongst a bunch of, a bunch of um, Christians, a young people, a young generation. And we were in the midst of persecution. I mean, like, our lives were in danger. They weren't just making fun of our clothes. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I mean, I was like, oh, my goodness. I had instant knowledge that, that lives were in danger. And, and, and even though there, there might have been fear, the, the, the name of Jesus was in us so strong, it caused us to stand there and not run. <laughs> Hallelujah. And in this dream, I was standing and I was being lined up with a bunch of um, young people. The, in my mind, it was the next generation. And I was standing there and I was looking at the one next to me and the, there was a big line of us. And, I, you know, pardon my worldly reference, but I grew up outside of church. The only thing I can um, compare this to is Men in Black, the Neuralizer. For those of you that don't know this thing, it, it evaporates your mind and erases your mind to reprogram you. So they put this big light before all of us, and it would throw a flash. And as it did this, it stunned me, and my knees began to buckle, and I was like, whoa, like disorientated. And everybody else fell to the ground, and they were given orders. When you fall to the ground, do five push-ups, you know, to just keep them distracted, just to keep them, you know, not fearful. And I didn't fall. I almost did. But then I stood back up and they looked at me and they said, go ahead and do it again. And it stunned me again, but I didn't fall. And they looked at me and they saw something different about me and they said, do it again. And, and it stunned me and it stunned me really good, but I kept standing. As I woke up from this dream, the first thing I thought about was this service. This was Monday. I could not stop thinking about this service. And it was around 5.30 in the morning, and I could not go back to bed. And if you know me, I like to sleep. And I laid there and laid there and like, God, what are you telling me? God, what are you telling me? And I actually had no clue what it meant until the youth choir were singing, I love you forever, oh Lord. I love you forever. And it came to me, the Lord told me to tell you young people, even though the voices of this world can be loud at times, and even though it can pierce you even to the depth of your soul and heart and stun you in your emotions, stun you in your direction, the Lord sent me to tell you, you will not fall because my name is in you. My name is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and they are safe. Let's clap our hands to Jesus. He's got his hand upon this generation. Hallelujah.